Hello everyone and welcome to another quick and dirty video, this one on Roots Blowers. Roots Blowers can be found on the non-circular gear dialog um, as the third type below elliptical and logarithmic. Roots Blowers are used as pumps or um, volumetric measuring devices. You can hook them up to counters to, uh, for example, show you uh, how much volume of a material has passed by them as a pump. Let's take a look at them, and I think you'll understand them by the time I'm done, if you don't already. Uh, the most important settings on the screen when you're using these is your module or DP setting, your tooth count, and your wheel order. Now, the wheel order can be set anywhere from one uh, upward. Uh, a order one roots blower is almost useless, although it is actually possible to build one. Um, order two is probably the most common and so on up the chain. We're going to do an order three uh, as our examples because it's a bit easier to explain. Take note of the module and the uh, tooth count, however. This module and tooth count will, in the end, correspond to the spur gears that you will drive these uh, roots blowers with. Roots blowers are meant to turn at a one-to-one -one ratio. They do not drive each other. They're meant to be driven by uh, spur gears, as we'll see in a moment. Uh, once you've set your module and tooth count, you just simply create the wheel. Uh, you can go back to the screen, create a pinion, click on the gear, and rotate it around to set its position. Okay, so this would be a typical set of roots blowers. Now, in order to understand how they work, uh, let's select one, and if you right-click on a roots blower, you'll find a new menu item called Add Blower Casing. And if I select that, it'll ask us the wall thickness of our blower's casing. Um, by default, it goes to the thickness of your gear. You're free to set it to whatever you wish. So this would be a roots blower uh, inside its case. Uh, as a pump, normally you would uh, squish this whole assembly. You can see it's the same thickness uh, throughout. You would squish it in between two plates. And you would either put a tube uh, up here at the top and one at the bottom, or you could cut out an entire section of the top and the bottom in order to use this. I'm going to hit Simulate and it becomes a lot more obvious how this thing works. You can see, <clears throat> if you imagine this area here that I'm circling with the mouse, it is now carrying a volume of air, liquid, uh, gas, whatever, down to this bottom area. And at the same time, over here on the right, um, that particular gear is doing the same thing. It's carrying a volume of something to the bottom. Since both rotors are carrying their uh, volumes to the bottom, this means the bottom area here will be an area of high pressure. At the top, since we're removing liquid or gas and moving it to the bottom, it becomes an area of low pressure. This means that the pump will pump from the uh, top to the bottom. The uh, thing about a roots blower is if you reverse the direction, uh, it is exactly the same efficiency in pumping in the other direction. Uh, these types of units are used in things like uh, gas pumps to measure the amount of gasoline which is passing through a tube. Uh, they're used in the medical profession to uh, pump an exact quantity of uh, liquid uh, through a device. And the way that they're driven is with two spur gears uh, of the exact same size. Make sure that you always use the same ratio. However, you remember when we created these, we used a module 3 15 tooth. This means we can now go to a circular page, use module 3 15 teeth, and just uh, create our gears that will drive this unit. Um, let's add one here and just add it to this. And we'll move it to the back. And we'll go back to our circular gear, create a pinion and uh, swing it right off of that spur gear and match it, match it up. And as you can see, we end up with a proper roots blower. Normally a motor would be driving one of these spur gears, and that will drive the entire assembly. As I said, you can drill a hole here at the top and a hole at the bottom, lead a tube through, and that is your pump. Sandwich a, dis uh, sandwich a plate at the top and the bottom to create a seal, and uh, that's a roots blower.